Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, I thought today it'd be interesting to talk about uh, King Charles um, and C. Um, you know, what is in store for him. I mean, this is pretty uh, amazing uh, that, um, that um, this diagnosis would come down now and wh what does it do to William and, and Catherine and William's son, George, and then Harry. I mean, you know, all of that. But I also want to talk about the Republican Party of the United States and are they just uh, imploding purposefully, okay? The beginning of how to crumble uh, democracy in the United States start to get rid of the parties. So that's what it'll be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, as a matter of fact, we're going to get into the King uh, Charles uh, issue. How Stunning. I mean, Catherine is in the hospital. I wonder, I I have always, uh, not Catherine, yeah, yeah, Catherine uh, was in the hospital. And I have always wondered if um, the family knew of his diagnosis and this has led to ulcers for her. And I can see her being a very pent up uh, person and having just, keep, she does have to keep everything inside. But uh, really, we want this to be about uh, King Charles. So King Charles, what can the courage tell us about him? Really quickly, and then at, in the end here, we'll touch on the uh, USA Republican Party. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. So, what can the cards tell us? Let's do three cards first, just to get a placeholder, really, uh, a thumbprint on the psyche of the subject. So, um, King Charles, three cards, just to get us started uh, on uh, King Charles. What can the cards tell us? This is interesting. Look how the cards didn't lay out beautifully. Uh, they're a bit askew, but still in a... Um, in an organized fashion. I mean, I just think every element of dealing with these uh, these cards uh, is interesting if you um, pay attention to various uh, draws. Anyway, Charles, first card. Okay, so this is very interesting. So the 10 of Pentacles, Pentacles are value, uh, can be money, but this is value, and generational value. So very appropriate card to get when we're talking about King Charles. Um, so the Ten of Pentacles is um, it's all centered around his familial and uh, generational value. Look at this, the old um, man here is petting a patient dog and the new couple is standing right off into the background. Uh, the archway is open to them to walk out. Very interesting. The next uh, thing here, look at this, is the Magician. So King uh, Charles. So the Magician card, um, the Major Arcana, first uh, person uh, that the uh, Fool meets on his journey from zero to the end. And, um, and he has available to him all the tools that are necessary to make his journey successful. He's got the sword, the cup, the pinnacles, and the wand. And he can, uh, is, is in fact the Magician. He, can, he will make his future happen. And then the final card here, look at that, is the Lover's uh, card. So it's a perfect uh, pairing. What a shame. And um, this is telling us uh, that, yeah, uh, it, it's not about K King Charles. It's about the uh, institution. Um, it, everything is available to him and to that institution to make sure things uh, transition as they should. And, um, and that perfect pairing will be achieved. So now let's find out about 
his health. King Charles, does he have five years? Look at that, perfect pairing. Very interesting for that card to fall out. So does he have five years? Let's do uh, three cards on that. Okay, one, two, three. Cards know what I mean. Does he have five years? Okay, first card. It's a journey, fool's journey, starting out. Second card, uh, it's the end of that journey, truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, yeah, and then the four of cups, this young man is being offered something that he doesn't particularly want of, of emotional uh, importance. Um, this has to be William. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the, um, it's, it's sad. I mean, this is uh, the journey that he's on. It's coming to an end. He just got started. It's coming to an end. And uh, the uh, successor doesn't really want this. Does he have five years? Does he have five years? It did say, was it, there's three cards right there. Does he have five years? Okay, so this is the Queen of Swords. You know, it has to make me think of uh, Catherine. Uh, one could say Camilla, but for me it's Catherine, the Queen of Swords. Um, this is the uh, smaller celebrations onto something grander. So yeah, I mean, when one uh, monarch passes, the next one is a celebration. And um, and then the Five of Wands, Wands are actually plans forward movement, and the Five of Wands is kind of argy-bargy, pointless, arguing, pointless, um, obstacles um, so we should put a concern about Charles to the back and realize that it's about the monarchy Prince Harry will he understand I'm not going to take those cards will he understand that Prince Harry will he understand that uh, aspect of this three cards one two and three Prince Harry, does he get it? Eight of uh, Wands, uh, um, so Actions, Plans, Forward, Movement, this is a lot of obstacles. Um, uh, the family again, the Ten of Pentacles, so it's all about that generational uh, value. And the Eight again, this is interesting. It is, and so the Eight of Swords are Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. We're talking about Harry here, and the Eight is uh, in, of Swords is feeling uh, trapped. Uh, that you're bound, but when in fact this person can uh, slip out of these binds and find uh, there's a clear path forward as a matter of fact. So Harry, there's lots of issues. Um, the family, his, his, his heritage is still to the forefront. Uh, you wouldn't think so, in, but in his mind it is. And, um, uh, and he's feeling as if he's restricted, but he's actually not. So does this mean that he should put aside uh, all the issues? I mean, the issues is that he can't go back to England without being hounded by the press, but should he find somewhere to put all that aside uh, right now for his father? We're talking about Harry. Okay, we'll take it. We're talking about Harry. Okay, and then uh, we're going to do a little bit on the American Republican Party. So, ah. Should he put it all behind him? So this is the Knight of, okay, so the Knight of Wands, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. He's the, the Knight of that. He's the King of that. I mean, he's the, the, not the King, but he's the fighter for that. It's Harry. Um, whether he knows it or not, he, this is the position he, he's able to take. And he has all the tools with the Magician available to him. And um, yeah, and this is the, it's the end of a journey, but the beginning of something else. Wow, these cards are very prophetic. So yeah, it's, you know, this is coming to the close of his father's reign and the beginning of a whole new England under his brother, regardless of what that is or will be. So I think, yeah, it's all coming to a head now. I think he gets it. Um, now let's do the, is the American Republican Party just imploding purposefully for the most part? Is the American Republican Party, the American United States Republican Party imploding, but is it purposefully? I mean, are, is it a, are there folks at the top who understand 
that we need to, or they need, want to destroy uh, democracy for whatever comes next. I mean, let's face it, there's lots of countries in the world who have various forms of democracy or none whatsoever, and we visit them. So, is it a purposeful implosion by the American Republican Party? Uh, being offered something they don't want, uh, leaving something behind that's of emotional port, not really what you have left, and uh, wondering if you've done enough. Um, yeah, this is a pretty deep um, uh, reading here. So, is it a purposeful implosion? Well, they're being offered this destruction. Most of them is something they don't necessarily want, but they think they're going to have to take. So the the real the real zealots. Yeah, they want that. But the ones who are more medium and lesser um, uh, radical uh, or more normal are saying, well, maybe this is what they're being convinced now of this radical movement. The five of, of cups then is still very emotional and it's realizing, man, look at everything that's been lost and there's and not even recognizing that you have something left to continue on with. So I think, yeah, they're being sucked into this gloom and doom uh, scenario that, well, we have to let it go and maybe rebuild from the beginning. And because over here, in the end, they're thinking on that value, had they done enough? Was there more they can do? Is there more they can do now? And But it all seems colored by this, these negative influences. So, uh, but that speaks to the, to the everyday people. I want to know, um, yes or no, two cards, is, um, is this something being led by so this destruction is it something being led by um you know the hierarchy of that republican party besides trump obviously that is um the same card having lost so much and secrets being revealed yeah i think it is actually i think there's there's so much dirty goings on that's happening behind the scenes for so many of these people in that republican party that if they see that one of them can get uh prosecuted successfully for the things that they that person's done well it's just going to trickle down to them uh, i think there's an element of that in it hey i'm going to show you the cards now hang on a minute. so this is another low scarabier the golden art nouveau tarot and so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these all in the rider weight uh iconography kind of and a typical uh instruction booklet that's you know not that great and a little bit difficult to read but the um What's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look at how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning, and someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we we'll mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards, and sometimes it's good to let the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute. And then people get more involved. You know, once you've touched it, it's uh, it's more appealing. So here we go. We'll get this going. 